Just another day ago. Doesn't mean I work in the container terminal means I know how to operate the crane. I'm Jia Jie, 29 this year, and I work as assistant manager in DSA. We ensure that cargoes are delivered accurately and timely to our customers. I also ensure the well-being of my staff and the automated control, automated control operation center. I do additional data analysis work to improve our operations planning and efficiency. Plan departure time is where the first sailing time is set by the section and the operations team whenever a vessel is coming to PSA. Estimated time unburdened. It's a sailing time that is set for after the PDT. Any amendment made after the PDT, that would be the ETU. Extra time unburdened. They'll find the time where the vessels eventually sail from PSA. A port is where we bring in containers. PSA handles cargo transshipment. It's so meaning to say the cargoes are coming here and then are transported out to another port in the world. A pilot is needed to board the vessel to bring her out of Singapore waters. The pilot is more familiar as compared to the chief officer. In the day, I manage my staff posters to decide who works for the day and who works for the night. Major issues that happen the night before we come in during the daytime and we manage them so that we can have a smooth operations for the next day. Some other things I do is to manage our assets. So for example, our computers, our radio sets. We have to ensure that these assets are in good working condition so that they can use for the day-to-day -day operation. Hello, bro. Sorry, bro. Dial wrongly. I do have to liaise with different departments. For example, the IT departments, whenever there's an asset breakdown, we look for them for immediate service recovery so that our patients team can use them for the next day. I do safety engagement. I walk the ground during my time and I also ensure and emphasize the safety of my workers to ensure that they carry out the proper SOPs. On top of that, I also create a dashboard to actually track our PDP, ETU and ATU time of our vessel sailing. With this data, we can actually put a figure to the difference between the actual sailing time of a vessel and the estimated time of the vessel unburdening. We can bring down the time difference so that we can actually improve our service to our customers. So after JC, I went to university and I studied Bachelor of Science in Maritime Studies. I did take a gap year to see what I'm really interested in. After deciding that I'm still interested in the maritime industry, I joined PSA. I joined PSA because uh, PSA replied me the fastest. <laughs> PSA offers me a wide variety of departments that I can go in so I can join the operation team, the ship planning team and also the yard planning team. Some misconceptions of our job is that uh, the maritime industry is a male-dominated one. We are seeing more females joining us, especially the operations team. Some challenges that I face is to adjust myself to the working shift. We work 12 hours a shift, 2 days on and 2 days off. So we have to endure the night while not sleeping, but also continue working on to ensure that the operations carry on smoothly. Some specific skill in my role will be data analysis, for example, Excel BBA and XQL. We can actually bring forth and manage data properly and also deal with better visualization. Wow. We need to decide on the ground how do we want to allocate our resources so that we can run smoothly. Good people management. We need to deal with groups of different nationalities to manage them whenever on the ground. Communication skills because we communicate with wide groups of people, so we need to ensure that we are able to bring our message across to them, especially in times of need. There was a case where a faulty container was found on board vessel. The vessel was actually sailing in 15 minutes. As a duty manager, I communicated with the chief officer and the pilot, and we managed to bring the container down in time and also to sail the vessel within service time. Some advice that I will give people who are keen to learn and join the maritime industry will be to be open minded. With this digital transformation, there are endless opportunities for people to join the marine industry and also to expand your career specialization. <laughs>